Let's continue our series looking at pressure control valves. And on this one, we're gonna take a look at a double pilot operated line lock. So let's identify the ports first. Uh, well, let's just talk about where we would find this. Likely you would find this on an outrigger of a, of a crane or on a picker truck. And the idea here is that we're gonna create a lock or a more positive hydraulic seal than we would find in our directional control valve. So this would be port A, let's say, of our directional control valve that sends oil through here into the rod end of a cylinder. The base end then comes back, would be able to come through this passageway and goes to the B port of our directional control valve. So if this is the rod end and that's a base end, then if I send oil out of A on the directional control port, then I'd be looking at retracting the cylinder. Now to make that happen, what we have to do in this double line lock in its pilot operated is we actually need to overcome and use the, the directional control valve pressure to open up the drain side. And the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna send oil out of the A work port have it come through here and it's actually able to open up a check valve inside of there. So if we just sort of rotate this housing here so we can see, we can see it opens up a check ball. Now, when it opens up the check ball because pressure is created by the restriction here, opens up the check ball, it delivers that oil to the rod end of the cylinder. At the same point, what would happen, oil would go in the rod end and try and go down, but oil's not allowed out this port here because that check ball is still sealed. So what happens is pressure builds up back at the rod end and pressure continues to build up and it's going to move this poppet over. And what happens when this poppet moves over because the pressure is going to be equal on this side as well as this side to open the check valve, what happens is as we're sending the oil to the rod end, we are opening the passageway for the base end of the cylinder to be able to get past this check ball back into work port B of our directional control valve and back to tank. What we can see here is that this is a wide open port. That's where our supply is coming in. And we can see that we have a little orifice right here. That orifice is particularly important on this side in our present setup, as in oil comes in through A, opens up the check ball, comes through this little orifice, comes into the base end of the cylinder, or the rod end, sorry, of the cylinder, builds up pressure because the oil flow is trying to come out of the base end, hits this orifice, builds up pressure, pressure is built back up, opens up this pilot slug right here. As that opens up, oil is allowed to drain out of this port back through the work port of B. Now this is called a double line lock because it works in both directions. If I want to send oil into the base end of the cylinder from work port B, I send the oil from the directional control valve into here. It's able to open up this check ball, send that oil into the base end. The oil coming out of the rod end hits this orifice and builds up back pressure. That back pressure causes the backup pressure to be built and felt here, which at the same time we open up this check ball, we also open up this pilot slug right here, which opens up this check ball. So on extend, oil comes from B, comes through the check, comes to the base end of the cylinder, pressure builds up on the base end of the cylinder at the same time it builds up on this pilot operated or this pilot slug right here. And it opens up the rod end of the cylinder back to work port A where it's able to go back to tank. So when we don't send any oil to either A or B, and instead we wanna hold the cylinder in its present position, any load that would be felt on the base end of the cylinder would come in and would be holding this check ball closed. If we flip the cylinder or we had the load on the rod end, so any pressure that would be on the rod side of the cylinder comes in again, comes in and holds this check ball closed. So what happens is our cylinder is locked in its present position because of both of these check balls are holding it sealed. And that's why it requires the load from the directional control valve to not only operate the cylinder, but also signal the other port that it's okay to drain. 